Today we're going to discuss how to change or properly inspect the hydraulic oil on any of your pneumatic lobster tools uh, that are air over hydraulic. Uh, so that could be your R1A2, your R1A1, or your N1A2 that you see listed here on the table. Uh, first and foremost, you're going to need some hydraulic oil, uh, it's 46 weight hydraulic oil. Um, you can see the product here. Um, if you need any help with uh, acquiring that, or reach out to your air power account manager, we'd be glad to get you a bottle of that. Uh, you also need just one tool for this. It's a four millimeter metric wrench. And we'll start by taking these cap head Allen screws loose. I like to do this in the upright position first, and then we'll flip the tool over. Once you've gotten these loosened, you can take them out, safely stow them away. Next step is to take the tool and invert it. I like to do it this way and hold the grip of the tool and slowly slide the housing, piston housing for your tool off. When you take that off, you want to inspect the interior of that. You can see this one's nice and shiny and clean, no scoring, no marks, um, no trash or debris. Um, the only thing you see on the walls is a little bit of residue from the grease, which is perfect. Set that aside. You have two things to inspect here. You have a O-ring here for your air passageway for the air to pass to one side or the other of the piston. You have your O-ring on your piston itself. Um, make sure those are in good working order. Um, no trash or debris on those O-rings. They're present. No tears or uh, deformations of them. And if they don't have adequate lubrication, add those. These do in this case, so we won't be adding those today. The next step is to remove your piston from your, pit, from your uh, hydraulic reservoir. Make sure that your piston rod is smooth and clean. And then you want to take a look at your oil. I got a little bit of residue here, so I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. Make sure that it's that clear, maybe a little amber color, um, but it doesn't want to be like coffee color or use motor oil color. Uh, very much like inspecting oil or transmission fluid on a vehicle. You want to make sure that it's good and clean and it still has this natural color. Um, if it's discolored or got trash or debris in it, you may want to dump the entire reservoir and fill up the reservoir. The next thing you want to inspect is the two O-rings down inside the reservoir, which you can see here, a black and a white uh, O-ring, um, and the level. Um, one, you want to make sure those O-rings are present and intact, um, and then also you want to inspect your hydraulic level. Um, make sure that the, the oil comes up to the bottom of those O-rings. If not, you would uh, take, take your oil and add a few drops, like so. Then once you've done that, uh, you're ready to go back together. So the next step would be to take your piston, place it back into the reservoir, and it'll be kind of snug as it seats out on those seals. And then you can compress it once or twice as well um, because you're trapping air in there. And we'll go through, uh, once we get the tool back together, um, how you release that air out, uh, very much like you would purge uh, air in your brake lines. So you can pump this manually or you can go ahead and put it back together. Um, put your housing together, things of that nature, connect air up to it and uh, pull the trigger several times to cycle the tool and work that air out and I'll show you where you bleed that air out in just a second. So once you've got that, make sure your O-ring here on your front for your air passages is still intact when you put your housing back on. You'll get your uh, cap head allen screws back started. I like to get them started upside down in this case. Go ahead and run them the snug all the way around and then invert my tool back to its upright position.
While I'm tightening these in place, you'll notice that the uh, air inlet for the tool is ambidextrous. Um, depending on your operator, you can uh, set up your air inlet to be on this side with a nice swivel, so it's very ergonomic for the operator. Or you can take this plug out and swap the plug from one side to the other. So just another nice benefit that Lobster uh, prides itself on with its ergonomics. So we'll snug those up quickly. And then we're going to connect air to the tool. Um, once you've got air to the tool, for the sake of time, we won't do that. Trigger the tool multiple times. So that piston strokes up and down several times, works that air out. You then lay the tool down flat like you see. You'll notice a cap head um, Allen here. It's that same four millimeter bolt, which is convenient. You'll crack that open until you see a little oil uh, come out. Make sure you've got all the air out, then close it back shut. And if you're not getting proper pull stroke, uh, which you can evaluate, um, uh, that sometimes is a reason you would need to check your hydraulic oil um, and uh, it's something that you should do on a regular PM schedule. If you have any questions about what you saw today, please reach out to Air Power, uh, contact your account manager. Uh, we can get a specialist involved if needed. Uh, you can also reach out to us on our website, www.airpower-usa.com or call our 1-800 number uh, that's on our website and we'd love to talk to you. Thanks for your time today.